So this is my X Pro. Um, this is where the micro switch wire comes to. There are two screw connectors there, and that's where the two wires from your micro switch goes. This bottom one is for the Z axis, and this one up here is for the Y axis. There it is, and this one here is for the X axis. Uh, it actually says it on the circuit board can't really see it underneath the wires but it says limit and there's a little diagram of a switch so that's that you just wire your wires into there that is the micro switch on the Y axis that is on the right hand side and then if I follow it to the other end of the machine and the other end of the machine there is the other one. Now the two switches are wired in parallel together and then the other wire goes off to the X Pro board. And the same for the X axis, there it is. Let's focus. There we go. So there's the micro switch there. And as I say there's two wires coming from it. One goes all the way to the other side where the other switch is and the other wire goes back to the X-Pro. And at the other end of the X-axis here is the second switch. There it is. This is the Z-axis micro switch. Press it, there we go. That's the Z-axis there. I um, used the resin glue and just glued it to this this plate here. That it's really hard. this bit here is the body of the micro switch, and I just basically glued it in so that the the little lever is below the plate, and then as the Z axis comes up, you just heard it click it then and it will stop before it goes too far. That was so a couple of millimeters difference. That's too far up, and that's where it clicks. So it gives you a few millimeters of uh, stopping distance before it goes too far. The route for the wire for the Z-axis, basically I've got it cable tied, oops, I've got it cable tied to this, this part of the motor mount here, and it just goes down, down there between the two plates, and it seems to be out of the way, it's not being damaged, and then it goes down to underneath where the micro switch is.